Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I had a request for a video of my uh, Panclora Nevia colony. And I have the Panclora Nevias mixed with a uh, colony of Panclora giants, which I don't know if they're the same species or not. Um, they have no species designation anywhere. I haven't been able to find it at all. I have no idea. But I haven't seen any hybridizing between the two uh, species so far. So I really think they're completely different animals, um, even though they look really, really similar. Um, these are the Panclora nevia, the green banana roach. This is uh, one of the giants right here. You can see it's actually fairly large for a Panclora. And this is about as big as they get. Uh, this is probably a female here. It's kind of wide. The uh, males tend to be a little more slender. But these guys can fly really well, so I'm kind of hoping they don't flutter away on me here. But very pretty roaches, nice green color. The giants are a little lighter than the uh, the regular pink Let's see if I can find one of those adults in here. There's another giant morph. Sorry, I got a shadow on there. Uh, let's see if I can find the regular guy. The uh, the regular morph is a little. Harder to spot in here because they're about half the size. So let me dig around for a second, see if I can find anything. You see right here, there's a. Uh, oh, there's one. Just went in the tube there. All right, let me uh, show you the nymphs real quick. They're these brown, um, kind of unassuming cockroaches. You know, they're just shiny little. Um, Shiny little roaches, fairly small nymphs, very, very tiny for the regular kind, and not very big for the uh, giants either, really. So, the uh, the colony of these that I have uh, is pretty easy main to maintain. They don't, um, they don't make a whole lot of mess, but I have these guys in here, which are the, um, kind of the roly-polies, so bugs, whatever you want to call them. And these guys, I don't think that's a, this is actually a so bug, I believe, not a uh, pill bug. Because these little things in the back here. Um, styly or whatever. Anyway, these guys keep the, the colony really clean for me. Um, I don't have any mold problems in here, even though this is a very, very, very wet container. Um, here is a regular Panclorinavia. That's a male, very slender little guy. And these guys can take flight very, very easily. Um, which I'm hoping he doesn't, because now he's in my arm. Go back in the container, or at least back on my hand. There you go. Okay. So these little guys, um, they can fly really, really well. And they are very prone to doing that. Uh, that's why I'm kind of worried that he's going to do that right now. But they're very pretty roaches. The regular morphs are actually a lot um, deeper of green than the uh, giant morphs are. So... Very cool little roaches. Um, great color. Love these guys. So let me pour this out. There's a, another one of the giants. You can see the comparison in size and color there is quite different. And there's a nymph. Oh, just lost it. Speedy little buggers. Anyway, the nymphs are brown. Um, they can't climb. There are these shiny little guys in here. Um, you can kind of see them spawn their head up once in a while. There's one. There go. Uh, very regular looking uh, nymphs. They, you know, nothing special. But they, uh, these guys normally breed uh, fairly well for people, but they've been really slow to breed for me. Um, I don't know if it's the type of container that I have them in. I don't have as many hides as they like. But they've been breeding steady, and that's what I really care about because they're maintaining their numbers for me. Um, I always have at least uh, half a dozen adults of both species in here and uh, just a boatload of nymphs in the substrate here. So they, they always have done really well for me, even though their numbers aren't really large. Um, if I gave them more hides and um, you know just a little bit of a larger container, I'm pretty sure I'd have a lot more adults in here. But because I don't sell these guys and I don't, uh, feed them off to anything. I'm not really concerned about that. They're maintaining their num their numbers really well, so that makes me happy. Um, 
like I said, the nymphs cannot climb at all, and they always stay buried. So the substrate's kind of ideal for these guys. The adults, however, they can climb, and they can fly really, really well. But because they can't get out of this container because it's completely sealed, I don't have any Vaseline here. So I'm not worried about them getting out. They've never been able to even get close. They can't squeeze through the, the lid. Um, like I said, the container is very wet, very damp, you know, very, very humid all the time. The substrate is just kind of soaked. Um, if they want to get out of it, they have the cork bark to get onto, the food tray over here, or this little piece of plastic, because the adults can climb on that really well. Um, they've done well for me. Like I said, they haven't been super prolific like some people's are, but they've done well for me, and they maintain their numbers just fine. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, I'd be happy to answer them. If you want to go to the website that I have, uh, Cockroach Care, it's uh, Google Sites, or uh, just comment on this uh, YouTube video. Uh, I'll be happy to try to answer as many questions as I can. The um, species likes it warm. They like it humid. I keep these guys almost directly in front of a heat lamp, so they're always about 85 degrees, and they're always just 100% humidity in this tank, very damp. And like I said, their numbers are maintaining, not growing incredibly, but they're maintaining their numbers. So they're, they've been like that for about a year now. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. See ya.